So it happened. It snowed last night. It snowed this morning. So as you can see behind me, we got some precipitation up on the roof like I anticipated. But this wasn't the snow I was worried about. I was more worried about the snow that's going to hit Wednesday. But since it's all wet and nasty out here today, what we're going to do, we're going to go inside and we're going to brace the trusses per manufacturer's recommendation. And I know the roof's already sheeted and everything, but it's something you got to do to pass uh, inspection. So we're going to do that today and I'm going to show you what that's all about. So stay tuned. So if you're wondering how do I know where to brace these at, here's the truss uh, details that's on my phone from the truss company. But if you zoom up here, if you see right there, that little square, that W2, that's a brace going across. And you can see there's a brace, there's a brace, there's a brace, and right there's a brace. So what you gotta do is just run two by four straight across. And I already got these in here. They're uh, just uh, two foot blocks, but I'll show you those. And then I'll just take 16 footers and run the rest of these. Okay, if you see those two foot blocks going across, those are what we put in as I set the trusses. And those are already on the details to be put in, but that part's already done. So there's a few couple more runs that go through on these trusses to complete them for the bracing. So the first thing I'm going to do before I get started up here in these rafters and spacing these trusses out and bracing them, I'm going to cut out these windows, that one, that one, and back here in the gym area, there's some windows back there that need cut out. And if you look at this window back here, I'm not going to cut that one out yet until I put that plywood up there in the attic space that you can see there. So if you look, I have some spacing already done. So these are two foot on center. And right here, this wall needs double plated. Then I'll space out the bottom of these trusses two foot on center. And then I'll run the uh, boards that go straight across from truss to truss that helps brace them after I do the spacing. Cause you don't want to do the bracing, a ton of bracing up here first before you space these out because it could uh, be harder to get these two foot on center where they belong. So I got some work cut out for me today. Like I said, it's nasty out, so it's better than doing nothing. It has been two months and I'm patiently waiting on windows. So I'm being extra careful to not cut too deep to puncture the house wrap because I'm trying to keep it intact because I need to let light in yet keep the elements out since I'm still waiting. So when I was setting these trusses, we went through and we nailed runners across the bottom of the trusses to keep them two foot center spaced out. So I set this wall, got it secured, and now I gotta go through and uh, toenail these trusses into the wall. For one, it holds the wall, and for two, it keeps that two foot on center spacing. I'm using standard three inch framing nails and toenailing two on one side and just one on the other for this uh, application. And that's all you need to secure this wall. You just gotta learn to Climb like a monkey, and you'll be okay climbing around up in these trusses. <laughs> no, but all jokes aside, it's relatively safe if you have some experience. Instead of carrying your nail gun down the ladder, you can just lower it down using the air hose. So I got a whole pile of 16 footers here that were too twisted to use. So those are going to be perfect for braces. So if you're building a house and you, when you're coming across building the walls and you notice there's some 16 footers that aren't perfect and you don't want to use them for plates, be sure to keep those because they're perfect for bracing. So what I'm going to do is take some of these 16 footers, lay them up here against this open truss they like see up above me and then pull them up and get them nailed on for bracing. When you work by yourself a lot, you learn you got to do stuff like this quite often, but it eliminates a second man. Let's get up there, pull these up and get them nailed up above for bracing. I was kind of glad it was snowy this morning because it gave me a reason to work inside. I've been meaning to do this bracing for a while now. And sometimes when there's nothing else to do, you end up finding things like this to do. And if you look below me, that's a bunch of uh, space that needs walls yet. So after I get this bracing done, that's what I'm going to be doing next. It won't be in this video, but it'll be probably next uh, few videos that I put out. I actually got to order more 16 footers because the ones I got ended up sitting around too long and got all twisted and bowed. And I need more pre-cuts too. These are 9 foot walls, so it's the 104 and 5 8 pre-cuts. But that's going to be in a later video. Like I said, I want to figure out my decking material. So that way I can get one big order of all my decking material and all the material needed to finish my walls. And now what I'm doing here, I'm just uh, putting on the lateral bracing on this side. 
and I just put two three inch nails on each truss into the brace and it actually intersects the gable truss so I put a couple nails in that too so it just adds more security and when it's all said and done all these trusses are tied in together. So to finish those braces going across I need four six footers. And I'll show you a trick to cut a bulk of uh, the same measurement. I got four pre-cuts sitting here and I'm gonna pull the tape make a six foot mark and this works great for something like this that doesn't have to be perfect. This is just bracing. So I have a six foot mark here. I'm gonna line the ends of the pre-cuts down here up. All right, that looks good. And now I'm just gonna take my framing square and square across all of these at once. This one's pretty bowed, but it'll be all right for the simple brace job. Okay. All right, now I got a straight line going across. All these are marked six foot. Now I'm just going to take my skill saw, come down here and cut them all at once. All right, now let's take these up there and shoot them on. I don't recommend carrying material up a ladder like I just did there with one arm hanging onto the material and one arm hanging onto the ladder. It's definitely unsafe and I would recommend a second person for that. Um, I really didn't have any other way to get it up there because I was working by myself. And let me know in the comments below if you've ever built your own house. I'm just curious. All right, if you can see there, there is one lateral brace there. There's another right up there going. There's another going right there. And then there is another one right there going. And as you can see, they all come back and hit right into the gable truss. So that's gonna add some security to that. And what I'm gonna go through and do is do diagonal bracing and then it's gonna go like a W shape on each one of these tall ones. So the ones that are vertical, I'm gonna go through and just put one like a big W across there. And I'm gonna run them all out until it gets to the end of the house. And obviously when I get here, I'm going to have to reorient on how I'm doing it. So, and uh, here's little green tags. If you can see right here, it says to make sure you do the lateral bracing and diagonal bracing, especially on these trusses that are like this. But as you can see, they're between two regular trusses. So they're really not going to go anywhere regardless, but per code, you got to follow manufacturer's instructions. As you just seen, the lateral bracing really isn't that hard to do. I'm going to go through and do diagonal bracing now. Um, if you're new to this channel, my name's Josh. This channel is all about building your own house, saving a ton of money. So be sure to subscribe if you haven't already, and be sure to smash that like button for the YouTube algorithm. Okay, I got to get some stuff done, so I'll see you in the next video. Peace.